You are listening to the 10-Minute Off-Road Podcast, the podcast for the off-roader with a short attention span. All right, welcome to the 10-Minute Off-Road Podcast. I'm your host, Nikki G. I'm going to do something a little different this week. I'm going to try recording the podcast as I uh, drive on my way to work. And I, I hope this turns out all right. Oh my God, will you look at the pair of... All right, on second thought, I think we should finish this up in the 10-minute uh, off-road podcast studio. All right, so this week I want to talk about food and what you eat out on the trails. I can tell you, if I eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, anything that doesn't really require refrigeration, I pack uh, instant mashed potatoes, ramen noodles, uh, oatmeal, anything I just boil water and add to and eat. I, I don't go fancy. I'm out there for the friends and fellowship and the wheeling. And uh, the food's kind of second. And also, because some people go full tilt and make fancy meals, and they share it. You know, everybody always makes a chili or a stew and shares it. And so I pack light and... I get I get fed anyhow, so uh, thank you for all you people that feed me. And that, now you, now you know my tricks. I guess it just goes back to like hiking. I travel light. Any I don't want to carry anything heavy, even though it's it's all in my jeep. I just throw a few things in, and uh, and I have a pretty good cooler. But I I don't want nobody likes soggy cheese. So I I tend for the, the just the dried stuff that I could just add water to. Uh, Mountain House meals, the little packets that you just had water to, they're pretty good. But that's what I like to eat. And like I said, I am a garbage truck. I will eat anything. You can buy a pizza and eat that pizza and give me the box it came with, and I will enjoy it. I just, I'm just that way. It's real hard for me because I'm redneck, so I'll eat anything that doesn't move. And even some things that do move. But I'm also Italian, so I have a love affair with food. But uh, I'll eat anything, but really good food I enjoy, if that makes sense. All right, so this week uh, I reached out through social media and contact, and just threw the question out there, and a bunch of you answered. Uh, Facebook group, North Carolina Overlanders, a bunch of people commented and showed me mad support and uh congratulated me on starting a podcast and I, and I love the support guys thank you very much but uh paul says gourmet dog full tilt all the best when you're camping maybe a sandwich during the day but at night it's full tilt meal thank you paul i appreciate it and then uh a bunch of people on the north carolina overlander facebook group just sent me out words of encouragement about the podcast and thank you very much I appreciate it, guys. All right, and William over at XJ Nation says, Hot dogs on a Weber BBQ. You know, I've, I've never been a fan of hot dogs unless it's a Nathan hot dog. For some reason, those things are delicious. Everything else just tastes like bologna to me. That's just me. I'll eat a hot dog, and I'll enjoy it, but I won't go back for fourths or fifths. So I turn to my friends at uh, 4X Tubers Facebook page. That's a uh, youth a YouTube a Facebook page for four-wheel drive-based YouTubers. It's run by Nate at SWB Crawling. Thank you, Nate. What I posted on there, this week I'm talking about food on the trail. Do you pack PBJ sandwich or go full-blown gourmet meal? And Ben said, easy food, sometimes trail tacos. I'm going to have to Google that because uh, trail tacos, there's no such thing as a bad taco. Nothing fancy. Lots of cooking supplies in the back of the Jeep is annoying when you're hitting harder trails. I guess it depends if you're going wheeling or just camping on trails or some trails. I might have read that wrong, but hey, I get what he means. If he's going on hard trails, he's packing light. If he's going camping, he's bringing the, the good stuff. Okay, Eric says, I'm lazy. PBJ and iced tea and chips. I'm with you there, man. PB&J is delicious. Then there seems to be a ramp between Travis and Eric going back and forth about. Travis says, don't lie, Eric. And Eric says, I make a PB, 
PBJ every hour or two on the way home. And then Travis says, from the mall? And Eric says, I don't, to, I don't go to the mall. LOL, gas station, yes. And then Travis replies, well, we know it's not the woods. Eric replies, not in the past few years. Ha, ha, ha. So uh, I take it you guys know each other and having great fun, and I appreciate it. And I appreciate the input. I enjoy reading it. I love the back and forth between people. I don't know if that makes me an internet troll or not. It probably does. Now it's time for the question of the month. And the question of the month is, does pineapple belong on a pizza? And I tell you, I went to uh, the Forex Tubers Facebook page for this. I got overwhelming response. Thank you, everybody. It looks like it's mixed between uh, half and half for yes and half for no. Uh, it's a very heated debate. It gets uh, very emotional. All right, Kara says, F no. Mark from FM Jeeping says, absolutely. The bearded jeeper says, yes. Eric says, yes. Tony made a Don Ho Don Hoke comment, only if you're Don Ho. And then it just, that, 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 that thread just kind of went downhill fast. Uh, Clint from Project Napalm Jail says, no. And then Kara says, yay, I'm not the only one. And then Misty goes the political correct way. It says, hashtag your pizza, your choice. And I agree with you. Eat your pizza whatever, whichever way you want. If you invite me over for dinner and you ask me what I want on my pizza, I'm going to say anything but pineapple. Fruit does not belong on a pizza. Unless it's a dessert pizza. And I know that goes into the whole topic. Well, tomato is a fruit. But we, we just go down there. <laughs> it just goes downhill from there. All right. Misty also says this question is like asking taco if Taco Bell is good Mexican food or if angry eye grills are cool. Boy, that is a subject for another podcast. I do not care for the angry eye grills. People love them, and I applaud your choice, and it's your Jeep, your build. You do what you want. But if I ever got a Jeep, uh, angry eye grills are not going on it. If I got a good deal on one, I'm taking the angry eye grill off and putting stock on it. I'm sorry, I'm just, uh, that's just the way I am. And uh, Misty also says, I say your pizza, not mine. I don't personally prefer it. But hey, whatever rocks your socks or bra. <laughs> I love it, Misty. Thank you very much. All right, Erica says, yes, my fave. And Joshua says, yes. So I lost count, but it's it seems like it's about half and half. And that's a debate that will go on forever. Or at least, on, or at least until the end of the month. If you'd like to contribute on all the fun, uh, follow us on the Instagram. Twitter, Facebook, we even got a YouTube channel thing, so we're not fancy enough to have a, a dedicated YouTube name yet, but it's coming, it will be there, I just need 50,000 more subscribers. Alright, thank you for listening to the 10 Minute Off-Road Podcast, I appreciate your support, I love each and every one of you. Nikki G signing out and saying, wheel what you got and be happy.